Today I'm gonna teach you five techniques you can use to take your baby's trash to the next level. The baby scratch is the first scratch you need to learn when starting out, but so many beginner DJs see it as a stepping stone scratch to more complicated and cool scratches out there. So they just bypass it and learn it for a bit and they move on, which is a grave mistake. In reality, the baby scratch is the most important scratch a beginner will ever learn and need to master. And master is the keyword. So in this video, we're going to master your baby scratch. So we're going to work on your hand movement, timing, rhythm, and overall funkiness to take your stunted baby scratch to the next level. Now, all the songs I'm going to use in this video are all available for download down below or right over here. And you can really support this channel by donating and downloading as you go. But before we proceed, let me announce that I'm doing another giveaway and this week we're giving out a Pioneer DJ t-shirt. So if you want to win this shirt specifically, all you guys got to do are the following things. Like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and leave a comment down below letting me know which technique was your favorite and why. The random win will be announced at the end of next week's tutorial, so stay tuned for that. And with that said, let's begin. So let's first recall what a baby scratch is. A baby scratch is a faderless scratch where you push and pull the platter like this. The problem is that this scratch sounds pretty monotone and boring if all you do is push and pull the platter. So let's add some funk to it by also mastering the sample and playing it right on time with the music. So instead of just pushing and pulling the platter, let the sample play and then implement some pullbacks here and there to get the start of the sample to play right on time with the music. Then once you get comfortable with the sample and tempo of the beat, start implementing some baby scratches. Now let's improve the quality of your baby scratches. So that involves adding some tonality to it. To get more control of the pitch of your sample, disable its key lock or master tempo. By doing this, your scratch's pitches will not be affected when you scratch. Next thing to do is to focus your hands and pushing and putting the platter at different speeds to get different pitches. So let's push and pull the platter slowly to get low pitches. And let's push and pull the platter fast to get high pitches. And now let's mix it up. So focus on doing different pitches of your baby scratch to get more variety in your sound. Next thing we're going to do now is affect the pace of how you do a baby scratch. Usually we just go back and forth like this. And that can get very boring very fast. So instead we're going to try pacing your baby scratch and we're going to push and pull the platter at different beat lengths. So as you can hear, I'm not going at it instantly. I'm steadying my scratch and focusing more on rhythm and timing. And now let's take this even further and instead of completely pushing and putting the platter, let's take it halfway and stutter our scratch. 
So we're gonna push and stop and push till we reach the end of the sample. And finally, we're gonna pull the sample. So push, stop, push, stop, pull. And now let's take this concept even further and physically study the sample by tapping on the platter. This involves making sure your sample is playing, so once it's playing, stutter it by tapping on it. Now, I usually do two to three taps and I pull back, and I do this in combination with my baby scratches. And that's it. Five techniques to take your baby scratch to the next level. Let me know in the comment section down below which technique was your favorite and why and let's talk about it. And since we're here at the end of the video, it's time to announce the winner of last week's giveaway. And that winner is... So congratulations! Please send me your name, address, and phone number to this email over here and I'll send the item right to you right away. Now for the people who didn't win, don't worry, don't cry. I'm doing more weekly giveaways, so stay tuned for that. And with that said, thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you all in the next one.